How's it going, by and welcome back to Dead State Reanimated with me, Noble. Now, uh, we just in the last episode picked up two new people. One is a grade A excellent character, the other one apparently not so much. And on the way back, I decided to do some harvesting. I forgot it was only 12. I probably shouldn't have done that yet, but oh well. We'll drop the stuff off and do another run. How about that? Well, actually, with the harvesting, it might take enough time that we don't. Getting pecans. Or pecans, depending on how you say it. We'll go for the taters next. <clears throat> not a huge amount, but it should help us out. <clears throat> 15, that's real good. And we should have time. We'll do this one. Come on. Good. Now let's see how much food we brought back with all those uh, little things. 77 fresh food, that's good. Plus 45 standard food. We did quite well, I think. Seriously, dude, when can I get to talk to you? Uh. Nope, still don't want to talk about it. Nah. Alright. Just topping off the gas tank, get it ready for the next rollout. Okay, so we have a lab assistant, and we got ourselves uh that's Sarah right there. Not sure where Sarah's sister is, but Huh? Oh hi. Anything to improve your mood? A thermocellular or high-pressure liquid chronograph would be nice. That's not what you're asking, is it? Uh, in that case, I could always use some weed relax or real coffee beans for the coffee maker. I'm building in the lab. <laughs> She's building her own coffee maker. With science! <laughs> Question is, where's your sister at? Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, I kind of figured she'd be in the lab, but would have no idea where to look for the other one. <laughs> She's probably upstairs or something. Oh well. Then we got an hour left, so we'll go ahead and get some people on some jobs. All right. <clears throat> now I got to do is drop off the goods. to go. Our second tire armor is finished. I went ahead and put it on Vic. We really got to get some combat armor though. Because the bulletproof vest just isn't going to cut it. Now we are going to try and fight some military types here eventually. Because we did get that indication that uh, there was a military base not too far away. So probably not this episode, but one of the next couple episodes we'll try and attack that base that Paul told us about. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Um, hi. I wanted to talk about my mom. She's well. I know she hasn't been sleeping well lately, and I'm worried. I know she won't say anything, but I prefer if she worked here at the shelter, to be honest. I just don't think she can handle the stress of the fight right now. Don't worry. She hadn't been going out with us for a long time. As a matter of fact, we hadn't really taken her out since the very beginning of the game. <laughs> Same for you. You have only been used maybe twice. Uh, let's see. Why don't you get special treatment? I'm sorry. That's impossible. No one gets out. You go out there, but... It's going to be difficult, but I'll keep her here for the next two days. Why not? She's not leaving anyway. Thank you. I just can't stand the feeling that if she leaves, that she, uh, she may not come back. Not everyone got a chance to save... The people they love, I know, but uh, I can't imagine uh, what losing her would be like. 
Hmm. I understand completely. Uh, it may cause some problems, but I'll deal with them. <laughs> I forgot I put him on guard duty. I forgot I put Doug on guard duty, and this is what he looks like when he walks up on guard duty. Oh. Sports player ball man. Plays the best sports ball player man he can be. <laughs> Ready for paintball, cricket, and uh, football at the same time. It has become obvious that I underestimated your leadership. My chances of survival are much higher with uh, you on my side than any of these other morons. With my brain and your leadership, we shall uh, truly make this place the most successful society of all time. <laughs> Viva! <laughs> Please, please acknowledge your approval with a firm handshake. Yes. Once uh, we have trained these yahoos into a well-oiled machine, we shall go forth and retake the rest of the country. <laughs> we may have to split at some point to rule uh, our own territories. Uh, he's played a little bit of too many RPGs. Caesar's Legion. Doug's Legion. I promise that uh, your people will always be allowed to uh, uh, unhindered passage through my lands. You feel Doug has uh, gained an unwavering respect and optimism of your leadership. Doug smiles and uh, his head held high as he walks out. <laughs> I love how the bed pops up first. He's like, bedside manner? No, it's not. Just regular manner. Just want to let you know, looks like the car won't start. Hope you weren't planning to use it today. Yes, I was. Thank you very much. Guess it's horse time today. At any rate, there's a job listing for repair of the uh, job board. I'm sure it won't take much to fix it, but we give it a checkup before we take it out. Uh, hey, uh, I was talking, or talking, or taking, eh, I was taking a look at our food supplies, and the pantry is actually pretty full. So I had an idea. I wanted to run it past you. I could make some quality dishes with a few extra rations per person. I thought it might be a good idea to throw a, one big fancy dinner for everyone. Davis thought it would cheer everyone up, but he said it, I would check uh, with you about using the extra food. That's eh, actually not a bad idea. We just got a bunch of stuff just yesterday. Don't want it to go bad. Minus 30 food? That's not too bad. Yeah, we're going with that one. Cool! It'll be the best meal we've had in, in uh, well, probably ever. It should take uh, you very popular, or make you very popular among, uh, and keep up. Uh, man, I'm getting so tongue tied today. I'm exhausted. This is actually really late in the evening when I'm recording this. <laughs> Probably ever. It should make you very popular and keep me very busy, which is for the best. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see you there. It still keeps going. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, it's the guy I don't like. What do you want? And you're talking about the camp. I'm a little worried now. I hadn't even read more than about the camp part. Okay. Hey, about that camp. <clears throat> I know there are, there's people here who might not have the stomach to take those resources, but if you reconsider, I bet there's some people here who could be discreet about the return visit. We're not attacking those people. They have every right to live in peace. Yes. When we start to run out of food, will you still think they're more deserving than us? I'm sure we've uh, thought it through. Uh, we can always take the leftovers from whoever takes them or takes it from them. It's not an open for discussion. Don't bring it up again. I'll worry about it when we're out of food. <laughs> Seriously, this guy is a problem. I've, I've My red flags popped up from the very moment we saw him in that house with the dead people. 
Sure, you're loss. Or you're the boss, I mean. I'll go where you need me. You don't like that idea? I'm sure there's another way. <laughs> it still keeps going. Excuse me, Ryan. Very sick. Not the doctor. Oh, no, he's saying, or she's saying Ryan is very sick. I'm fine. I don't need you watching me. Shh, Ryan. I need help. Ryan with, uh, Ryan total, uh, the day make better. Oh, she's staying out to help Ryan. Okay. It's kind of like her impromptu son, so it's kind of cool. Thank you for your help, Ryan. It's, it is happy. I don't need to be treated wheeze like a kid just because. Go ahead, Ryan. Or, go ahead, Ryan. Uh, I get medicine. Good grief, man. <laughs> I wasn't expecting all that. Like, everybody had something. You want something out of the vending machine, apparently. Well, we lost several people for work detail today, but it's fine. We got a lot of people now. That didn't take very long. I only had to move, like, two people. So that worked out. And Miss Guzman is working on the uh, more enhanced shotgun, the laser-sided one. And it's time to get us out in the field. Let's see, where are we going to head? Southeast is where I want to go, but uh, where is that military base we're supposed to be looking for? That's not the one. We already went there. We haven't been there yet. I really need to hit that place. That's the other emergency shelter. There's the old army base. And we don't have the car today. Oh, I forgot to set someone on uh, repairing the car. I hate to say it, but I actually got to do that. Because if I don't do that, we're going to run into a problem where we're not going to have anybody to actually get the car back up. Whoops. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you girls can handle it. I'm all about equal opportunity, especially when it comes to jobs. So if you ladies can work on that car, that'd be great. Poor car. I wonder, is it in the shop back here? Nope, it just vanished. <laughs> the car is non-existent at the moment. I wonder where we park it when we don't have it there. Maybe a garage down the road or something. So that's the old army base. We'll head there soon. Cabin in the woods. You know what? Let's take the horse and we're going to go to the cabin in the woods. Never saw that movie, actually. Hmm. Did I actually come here? I feel like I came here. No, definitely didn't come here because that wouldn't have been there. No, I don't need that. Who needs a rat? Not this guy. We don't have the SUV to haul off the uh, extra loot either. Seeds, which we don't need anymore. This doesn't feel like a cabin. This feels like a small shop. Yep, I just realized this must be the person's personal shop. It looks like a house up there. I think we get a decent bit of loot from here. Oh. Turned out to be a pretty decent haul. mailbox. Nobody's. No loot in those. Ooh, rifle. Uh, well. Oh 
got a dead body outside. Was our friend here the, uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. The creepy guy who told us to go attack those other people and get their loot. I can't remember his name right now. But you know what I'm talking about. My red flag guy. The one that makes me go, nope, nope, nope. Everywhere he is. I don't think I can carry much weight left. Actually going better than I thought. Oh, definitely not going to be able to carry that. Don't exactly know if I would want to carry the uh, dumbbell out of here. Did I just hear a zombie? Eh, come in here and grab that. Beer, hot sauce, ketchup. Some of the life's basic necessities. Oh, dog? Oh, dog. Um, guys, pull back. Um, you come here. Wait there. And you pull back here. Stand up here. And you fill in the hole over here. Because you may not be able to see it, but there are four dog portraits on my screen. So there's at least four dogs here, and I need to give them room to come in. The game freeze? What's going on? No, didn't freeze. There you are. I guess one of the puppers must have been blocking the doorway. Hey, good news. He attacked the guy in the heaviest defense armor. Bad dog. Bad doggy. Oops, backing up. Heal, stay. Good boy. Just stop moving, please. I'm sorry, pupper. I really am sorry. Who has this many attack dogs? You know what? I'm starting to wonder if you're the owner. You're all dressed all fancy in a suit and everything. Three puppers left. If they don't come in this round, I'm going to have to send uh, probably Paul to go wrangle them up. Nope, there they come. And actually, let's hold off on that heal. He's not bled out enough to really justify healing him. I get him up to max and then overshoot some of that. Many decibels is going on with these dogs. I'm surprised we haven't seen a zombie show up yet. Attack us from behind. Well, the good news is they're attacking the guys in the heavy defense armor. They're actually, I think, taking more damage from bleeding than they are from anything else. Oh, it's down. Go ahead and take it out. Alright, everybody on your own? Paul? Time to go uh, fishing for puppers. Bad puppers, mind you, not good ones. Huh? Yep, there they are. Two Australian Shepherd looking doggies. <laughs> Puffer sniffers, little uh, waggly tails are coming for us. Bad 
dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Nope. Just Chuck Testa. You guys are just making us look all bad over here. Teach the dog to play dead. Good job. He did bite you, so get revenge. Nope, nothing there. Man, we're just getting torn up out here. This armor's supposed to prevent bites. with the beating stick. <laughs> you know, it was a good idea to pull back, but I feel like we should have pulled back further. can't seem to get to the third dog in the pile. Um, can anybody get to this dog to kill it, please? <sighs> We're trapped. We can't get through this. Which means the dog has to bleed out before we can even cross the doorway. Three puppers stacked, and I can't get to the third one. Molotov the dog. Hey guys, pull back. It'll be a waste of a Molotov, but I would like to not have to waste this episode. Eh, yeah, that'll work. There you go. Goodbye, pupper. Wait, it didn't work. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we got nothing else to throw at that dog. Hmm. Well, might as well... Look at our stats real quick. You got five skill points. You must be going for that ranged mastership or leadership. I got four. Man, we still need that. Oh, 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 I got another stat point. It's been such a long time. What do I do? Hmm. Hit harder and carry more. Combat evasion. I'm pretty good on the AP right now. Hey, the dog finally died. Uh, let's see. Armor class. Hmm. That could be very useful. We're gonna go Perception. And we'll save our points for, uh, getting that, uh, final, uh, Upgrade to the... Yep, yeah, right. I forgot. We're almost maxed out. But not max. Well, actually, we're going to use Vic first, but... Dead man. Dead dog owner. That might have been why you got killed by dogs. I'm just saying. 
Bumpers. Bumpers defended themselves against you, crazy man. Pipe wrench. Oh, the doggies had their own uh, water pool. I don't think we expect to find any other kind of pool. What the heck is this? You got a barricade up? Is he planting trees? Got a lot of trees there. And we got a building. And it's locked for 100%. Eh, use him. He's the best one for this anyway. One more strike. Well, apparently more than one. I realize now that the axe makes less sounds. That's a chainsaw. Oh no. Oh no, it's a serial killer's place. <laughs> I'm gonna play a game. He is a bad doctor. Hey, someone did hear us this time. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, the, I was making a joke before, but maybe this is, uh, what's his name's, uh, uh, personal property. The crazy guy that I have bad feeling about. Nope, just Chuck Testa. Okay, so, um, yeah, this this is not a friendly place to be. Porno mags, <laughs> machetes, plastic trunk. Oh, this is such a serial killer's place. Mm. The cookery looks nice, though. And the toolbox. Yeah, we are getting out of here. We do not want our fingerprints anywhere near this property. Though we did steal the murder weapons, apparently. I mean, it looks like he's just a regular everyday family man. You know, he's got himself, I guess, two children. I assume it's the homeowner father dude who would be doing it. Oh, hello. I didn't see you before. Looks like a... I want to say that's a shelter, but I think it's a trash can that sunk in the ground on accident. Silly graphics. Well, that was unexpected at the ending. And here I was thinking the vicious dogs were just, you know, left behind and they were starving to death. No, they were probably trained to attack dogs. Ah, oh, man. Well, actually, it's a good time to actually end this episode. So, thank you everybody for stopping by and joining. If you liked it, hit that like, subscribe for future content. If you feel like it, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I'll see you in future episodes.